Glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Glad to be in the land of the living. We do not come to keep you long. We come to do that which we was asked to do. And we will do it as asked to do. If you have your Bibles, you can just turn to the book of Matthew. The second chapter of the book of Matthew. Well, if you would, uh, journey to the verse, second chapter, the ninth through the tenth verses of the written word of God. Amen? Amen. The word of the Lord reads, when they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, east went before them, till it came and stood over them where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. You may be seated. From this 10th verse, we'd like to take a subject or a text, if you will. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. If you don't mind, look, look at your neighbor and say, do you see what I see? All right, all right. Just to make sure that you, in the New Year's spirit, find one more person and ask them, do you see what I see? Amen. We have a song we come now to preach your word. Lord, we ask for your power. We ask for your anointing. God, we cannot do this preaching unless you inhabit this vessel. Lord, we just ask in humility for your power that the people may see Jesus in our eyes. In your blessed name we pray. Amen. 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 Do you see what I see? Church, church, one of the things that society has done right, uh, that they have done without knowing it, 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 it is co-opting the birth of Jesus Christ into the marketplace. The church has somehow allowed society to co-opt or join together what really belongs only to the kingdom of God. See, one of the things that society has done that has a real spiritual significance is prepare for the celebration of the coming of Jesus months before the day. Church, this to me shows a great expectation of what is to come. If you will, if you will, think about it. The day had not come yet, but people started preparing for what has not yet happened. Uh-huh. In expectation, people began to shop, began to put up decorations, began to plan meals in expectation of what is to come. And in our text, this is what's happening with these wise men. No, notice, if you will, the wise men go to King Herod, but they do not say they have seen Jesus. Uh-huh. They tell King Herod, they have seen his star, and as, the, and as a result of seeing the star, they have an attitude of expectation. These wise men, church, haven't seen Jesus. All they saw was a star, but from seeing the star, uh, they see something of great is about to happen. Well, I'm going to get somebody up in here in a minute. Uh, but when you think of Jesus, that there ought to be a great expectation in your heart that something great is about to happen in your life. Did these men show us, church, what real faith is? See, they, they showed us what real faith is. Real faith is you don't have to have it yet, but you begin to worship and praise God in expectation of what is about to come your way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Look, look, look at your name and tell them, do, do you know why I've been clapping my hands? Do, do you know why I've been shouting amen? Because I have an expectation that I'm about to get out of debt. I have an expectation that I'm about to receive a better paying job. I have an expectation that I'm about to get a job, period. I have an expectation that I'm about to be healed from cancer. I have an expectation that my child is about 
go find somebody. I know it's the way it's out there somewhere. But did somebody tell them I got an expectation about what's going to happen for me in 2012? My marriage will be reconciled in 2012. I'll get that house I've been praying for in 2012.
of your limitation. In other words, when they saw just the star, they had so much expectation. They had so much anticipation. But they got crazy when they praised. Just because they saw the star. And you know, if you don't mind helping me, tell your neighbor, I may not know your name, but I don't mean to step on your foot. I don't mean to knock your wig quickly. I don't mean to get on your nerves, but I'm about to give God a crazy praise. Because I just said something that God wants to see. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, 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 oh,